so it is laundry day and I have taken off the sheets of my Ikea Brimness bed and I wanted to show you how I silenced it. And if you have this bed, it's likely that you're probably suffering from the same symptoms. Um, it's loud and squeaky, it's shaky, it's wobbly, and um, really annoying. And so there's some really easy steps that I did to make this bed quieter. The first thing I did was tighten down all of the joints. So this I ratcheted down pretty tight. All of the other joints where any pieces of wood were connecting, I tightened down. And then once that was done, I worked on these slats. So these slats actually have a lot of movement in them so they can move and slide back around. And I found that they were touching these little plastic knobs and making all kinds of noise. So what I did to silence that noise is to use little felt tips or felt pads that you can buy at Home Depot or pretty much any other store. And then, in addition to that, I got smaller little dots of felt tips and placed them on all of the corners of these slats. And in addition to the corners, I also did the outside where it would touch the metal. And so what that essentially did was ensure that these slats, if they were moving around, wouldn't be making any noise. All right, so that's one thing that I did. And then in any place where the metals might be moving and making some noise, I put some just normal sort of um, painter's tape. And then one other spot where I put some felt pads is in the center here, where this metal bar, if there was enough weight on it, it would bend down and actually touch this wood. And so wherever it could touch, I just placed these felt pads and that really kept the noise from happening there as well. And so if you do this with each of the slats and all the spots where the metal might make noise, that should help reduce it a lot, but it wasn't enough for me. And so what I did in addition to that, I bought 12 of these sort of brackets here, these L brackets, and I installed them on each of the sides of the bed. So on each side it was eight, so two here, one above, one below, and then I repeated that on the other side here and on the other the opposite wall um, and then in addition to that I got um, the other four were installed on this centerpiece where this sort of bracket this piece of wood in the middle was and the way I did it is I would place one L towards the bottom and then on the other side I placed it at the top I can show you that yeah so there it is on the top and then I did the opposite pattern on the other side of the bed and that really reduces all the movement and this thing is like really sturdy now. And in addition to all of those steps, I also put some felt pads towards the wall where the bed was connecting and making noise here. So on the inside here, you'll see all these felt pads and these run the entire length so that wherever this bed would touch, if it could rock, it would not make any noise. And that's pretty much it. After putting all this together, took about maybe three hours to do the actual work, drill holes, and then actually put those screws in. But once it's done, you'll be pretty happy. Anyway, I didn't find a lot of videos on how to do this with my specific style of bed, but I hope this helps you. Alright, good luck. Bye.